Welcome to the channel, dear listener. Today, we'll tell you about the coldest city on our planet. Yakutia is a unique and largest region of Russia. There is an endless taiga, a diamond deposit, fierce cold, a unique culture, and an ancient history. About a quarter of all diamonds in the world are mined in Yakutia. The average temperature in Yakutia in winter is minus 40 to 50 degrees, and in some areas it reaches minus 70 degrees. Please like this video and subscribe to this new channel, and you will see many more interesting and useful things. I promise you a mutual subscription dot in terms of the absolute minimum temperature in the eastern mountain systems basins, depressions, and other drops to minus 70 degrees, and in terms of the total duration of the period with negative temperatures. From 6.5 to 9 months per year, the Republic has no analogues in the northern hemisphere. The absolute minimum temperature is below minus 50 degrees almost everywhere in the Republic. Mammoth remains, mostly teeth and tusks, are often found on the shores of the Laptive Sea. And on Katelny Island, the remains of dinosaurs, marine lizards, were found at the age of more than 200 million years. Despite the cold, Yakutia is a wonderful place to relax. Here, like in no other area, you can plunge into history Enjoy the pristine beauty of nature and see such a beautiful phenomenon as the northern lights. The most popular recreation areas are nature parks, Lena Pillars, and Kangalaski Ulis. Momsky and Momsky Ulis, Ustvaliuski and Kabya Ulis, Living Diamonds of Yakutia in Merninsky District, Sanaya and Gorny Ulis. There are also unique natural monuments such as the Bulis Glacier, the Tukulana Sand Dunes, and the sacred Kisilyak Mountains, the Republic of Sakha in Yakutia, the largest constituent entity of the Russian Federation, as well as the largest administrative territorial unit in the world. In terms of territory size, Yakutia surpasses Argentina, the eighth largest country in the world. The population of the Republic is 999,100 people. Yakutia is one of the harshest places in the world in terms of climate. The cold pole of the northern hemisphere is located here. Various peoples live here, who have preserved their unique culture and traditions. The total area of Yakutia is 3,103.2,000 square kilometers, which is only slightly less than the area of the entire European part of Russia. The length of the republic from north to south is 2,000 kilometers, from west to east 2,500 kilometers. Forests occupy four parts of the territory. More than 40% of Yakutia's territory is located beyond the Arctic Circle. The territory of Yakutia includes Novosibirsk, Bolshoi, and Melibejachevi, and the Bear Islands. Yakutia is one of the most rivering 700,000 rivers and lakes, and more than 800,000 regions of Russia. The total length of all its rivers is about 2 million km. Life at the Pole of Cold in Yakutia is a combination of ancient traditions and modern solutions adapted to the harsh climate. The Yakuts, the indigenous inhabitants of this region, have been honing their survival skills for centuries, which are now used both in everyday life and in urban planning. The architecture here differs from the one we are used to. Buildings are built on stilts, which helps protect them from the effects of permafrost. The foundations of houses are raised half a meter above the ground and carefully insulated to avoid damage during thawing or freezing of the soil. In winter, residents of Yakusha limit their time outdoors. They prefer to move around the city in specially prepared cars that are running with their engines on, and sometimes they are heated right in their garages. Cars adapted to extreme climates are equipped with additional heaters and insulation. If the frost is above minus 40 C, the machines try not to turn off at all to avoid freezing the engine. Transport plays an important role in the life of the Yakuts, as it becomes the only reliable means of transportation in conditions of cold and snowstorms. The Yakut way of life is closely connected with nature and maintaining resistance to low temperatures. Daily tasks require a special approach. Houses are heated using stoves, as centralized heating is not always possible throughout the Republic. The kitchen is also equipped to keep food supplies for the long winter. There are often special glaciers, 
and freezers that keep temperatures well below zero. Yakuts breed frost-resistant domestic animals, Yakut horses and reindeer, which provide meat, milk, and wool for sewing clothes. This fishery supports vital traditions, and each season is accompanied by rituals of gratitude to the spirits of nature so that the coming year will be successful. The cultural life of the Yakuts consists of many unique holidays and rituals that reflect the age-old traditions of the people. This is a deep and rich heritage in which every event is filled with respect for nature and ancestors. The basis of Yakut culture has always been a connection with the harsh northern land, which is reflected in rituals, beliefs, and traditional holidays. Survival in Yakusha, especially during the extreme winter months, requires a unique approach that has been developed here for centuries. Most of the Republic's territory is located in the permafrost zone, which significantly affects the construction and development of infrastructure. In such climatic conditions, many things that seem familiar in other regions become impossible. Metal, if you touch it to the skin, behaves like red hot. Any exposed area of the body is at risk of instantly getting frostbite. Along the roads, you can see special heating points for drivers in case of a car breakdown. Everyday life is perfectly adapted to such extreme conditions. The clothes are made of dense and natural materials such as fur and wool. They not only keep you warm, but also allow your skin to breathe in the cold. For centuries, Yakut craftsmen have been creating clothes tailored to the climate. So the local fur parkas and anti fur boots are not just warm clothes, but also an important part of the national culture. Home improvement is also an art form. Windows are covered with special films, walls are often double insulated, and the floor is covered with multi-layered carpets. Food also plays a key role in survival. In such cold conditions, the human body requires more energy, so traditional Yakut cuisine is rich in proteins and fats, such as meat and fish. A tea the pole of cold. It is customary to eat straganina, frozen raw meat or fish cut into thin slices. These products are not only nutritious, but also easily stored in a natural freezer under the open sky. Fishing and hunting are important activities that provide food. They are conducted taking into account special climatic conditions when, for example, fish are caught through ice holes in frozen lakes. Before you go on a trip to this city, you should prepare well for it. Thanks for watching.